Okay, so uh, name each polynomial by degree and number of terms. What is the highest degree of this polynomial? Trinomial or cubic, my best. Three, so it's going to be a cubic. And then it's binomial cubic. And then how many pieces are there? Two, so it's binomial. Two, so it's going to be a bi. Okay, what about three? Okay, it's just a number, and so over here off this chart, you can see where the one is just a number, so it's going to be a constant. And how many pieces? One. Okay, so it's going to be a monomial. Okay, nine. What is the highest exponent? Three, so it's going to be a cubic. How many pieces? Four, so it's going to be a poly, okay, a polynomial. Okay, seven. What's the highest exponent? Two. Two, so it's going to be quadratic. quadratic. How many pieces? Two. Two, so it's going to be a bi. Okay, nine, we need to make our tree. So two and what, 15, 16, two and eight, two and four, two and two. Okay, what's our group number? Two. Two, so how many groups can go? Two. Two, okay, so we put two of them on the outside. Who can't go? Two. Okay, what do you do with the numbers on the outside? Multiply. Multiply them, so it's going to be 4 square root of 2. Okay, I will tell you, even if you can do this in your head, okay, so for uh, Bellinger, Dante, sometimes you guys do stuff in your head, you have to do this on your test. You have to do the dang tree, okay, because you could type square root of 32 on your calculator and it'll give you that answer, okay? So you have to show your work. It's not optional, okay? Can I scroll? Okay, 11. We're going to factor 54. So somebody, 2 and 26? 27? 26 or 27? 27. 27? 3 and 9. 3 and 3. You can still do 2 and 14. You'll get the same thing. Oh, no. 2 and 14 does not go into 27. That's 28. 2 times 14 oh. is 28. Okay, uh, what's our group number? Three. I mean, yeah. Three, so who can go? Threes. The threes. A group of threes. Who can't go? The two. Okay, and then we have how many X's? Oh, five. Five. Okay, and we still, we need them in a group of three. Okay, and then how many cannot go? Two of them, so you put them back inside. What do you do with those X's? Multiply them. Yeah, you multiply them or you put them together. And so what are you going to have on the inside? X squared. Yeah, 2X squared. Is that look good? Yeah. Yep, we need the baby three on there, okay? If you forget the baby three on your test, I'm going to mark it wrong. Can I scroll? Twenty-seven. What are some factors of twenty-seven? Three and nine. Three and three. What's our magic numbers? Two, three, five. Two, three, five, seven. That's all we're allowed to circle. Two, three, five, seven. Okay. So um, we got a group of threes here. So one goes on the outside. One goes on the inside. And then I have two X's, so who can go? Both of them can go, okay? Circle them in their group, put them out here. I have two Y's, how many of them can go? Both of them. What baby number could we put down? A two. A two, okay, do you have to? No, okay, but you could if you wanted to.
Hey, 15, what do we do first on 15? Drop the eight down. Drop the eight down. Put them way down here, okay? Okay, and then 448. We need some factors of 448. Somebody do it. 2 and 12 2 and 12 56 56 25 26 28 28 17 2 and 14 2 and 7 Okay what is our group number on this 2 2 Okay, so how many groups of twos could go? Three. One, two, three. So put them on the outside. Who cannot go? The seven. The seven. And then how many A's can go? One. One group. One group. Okay, now what do you get for the outside? What do you got to do with all those eights and twos? Multiply them. Multiply them, and what do you get? 64. 64? Yep. So it's going to be 64 a square root of 7. Is that the last one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. You guys go through and do the even ones on your own. Okay?